So I'm here with Mike from Horsch, and Mike, you're the product manager for Sprayers. So fairly new name to North America in Sprayers. So tell me what makes this, uh, what Horsch is offering unique, what, what makes it stand out from the crowd? Yeah, so what we're doing on this sprayer, we're trying to extend the amount of hours you can use it every season. So the main factor that limits the amount of time you can use your sprayer is the wind. When the wind gets too high, you got to shut the machine down and you got to put it in the shed and wait till you know the wind dies. So early mornings, uh, late at night, that type of thing. So the boom control system on this this sprayer, it flexes and contours through the field. You know, we're usually running 25 to 50% less boom height than most other sprayers. Uh, what allows us to do that is the flex on the boom. So it has five different sections that flex and contour through the field. And the center rack can move independent from the rest of the machine. Okay, and what are the boom widths that are available on this machine? Uh, so right now we've been selling 120 foot and 133.33 feet. Okay. Um, just one model available in Canada, or do you have multiple models? Uh, so we had the, the 6300 was the first one, which was our 1,700-gallon uh, tank and the 310 horsepower engine. Uh, we just released that uh, AIM this year, the uh, 8460 mega tank. So what the mega tank is, is 2,140 gallons and uh, 460 horsepower. So when it comes to digital technology, telematics, what, what's Horse is offering there? Uh, so we have Horse Connect available right now. So Horse Connect works very similar to the John Deere Operations Center where your data is automatically sent back to the, the cloud, I guess. And uh, you can check on your cell phone where the machine is, where the machine is applicating, how fast it's going, fuel level, the boom height, all that kind of stuff. And it also maps all that. So your application rates, uh, your speed rates, all that kind of thing. It's all saved on the cloud. You can import that to different platforms as well. What... Uh uh, guidance technology, are you Raven, Trimble, what, what, what whatever the do? farmer likes. Yeah. So it's available with yeah. custom order? Yeah, we build the booms and the, the tanks, right? And whatever the farmer likes to use, we'll make sure it works in our sprayer. And, you know, we'll put Raven. This year I've made Topcon, Raven, Trimble, and John Deere all work in the machine. Oh, okay. So then, of course, data collection is available. Yeah, so if you use a John Deere monitor, you know, you can put a John Deere MTG in here and it'll show up on your operation center just like a Deere sprayer would. Two chemical application available on this? Uh, no, as of right now, we're just the one tank with one chemical. But you know, this machine does have three tanks on it, right? It wouldn't be that hard to modify to a, a three chemical system if you really wanted to. So, right now, we're running one tank, two rinse tanks, and two pumps. The second pump is just a cleaning pump, which makes a faster clean out. So, every other sprayer on the market right now just has one product pump that controls your rate but also does your rinse right now we have one pump that does our rate the other one does the rinse so it makes a faster clean out so i'll have clean water coming in with one pump dirty water going out with the other pump so about 10 minutes and 200 gallons of rinse water and we have this thing cleaned out of course horse originates uh, in europe where sp clean sprayer clean outs are very much regulated compared to north america so not surprising to find a a yeah. very detailed clean rinsing system. Yeah, uh, you bet. Like we're kind of in the wild, wild west of spraying out here in Canada, where we yeah. can pretty much do whatever we want. Right yeah. in Europe, it's very regulated and a lot of rules about how you can spray. Right. Dealerships. Uh, what about dealerships? Where are they located? Uh, the dealerships right now, we have uh, all of southern Manitoba, all of uh, southern Ontario, southern Alberta covered. We just kind of moved into northern Saskatchewan. Um, our dealership network is moving at the speed that our product availability, our parts availability, and our product support can handle. You know, we're not going to go sell every sprayer that a farmer walks up here and tries to buy. If they're not close to a good dealer that can provide good support, you know, we're going to say no and uh, wait till we get a good dealer in that area. So, uh, warranty? Uh... Yeah. Uh, so right now, unless somebody's changed something, we still have the best warranty in the industry. So it's a four-year warranty on the machine when you buy it but four-year replacement. So if you blow the engine on this sprayer in year number four, um, I send out the demo sprayer and we make sure you have no downtime. What uh, sort of telematics package is available in terms of a subscription or anything like that? So the subscription, if you want, I guess, to continue to buy it after you, the two years are up, then we have a subscription. We haven't decided on the price yet. It's So you know, two years still, comes with the machine? Two years free. After that, it won't be that expensive. It'll mimic kind of what the rest of the industry is doing in terms of price. Can you create as applied maps? You bet. Okay, yep. so no problem there. Uh, what about importing jobs? Is that uh, no? We haven't got that working quite yet. Um, you know, this is our first year at Porsche Connect. 
Okay, it's just getting to the, the level that we can start doing things like that. So this machine here, it's big, right? We have a bigger tank size at the 2,140 gallons. You know, we're trying to get less fills per season. Um, we run bigger tires in the rest of the industry. We have 900 tires for the fats and we have 380, 105, 54 skinny tires. It allows us to carry that bigger weight through the field. Um, but really the machine is, uh, you know, I would say that the biggest thing to focus on about this sprayer would be the boom height control and the ability to run in more wind. So getting the boom down low to that sub 20 inch boom height and reduce your drift. And contouring to fields, which prevents drift as well. You bet. Right. Um, what type of, what brand of engine do you use? It's an FPT Iveco engine. Iveco? Yeah. And uh, hydrostatic drive? You bet. So Bosch Rexroth pumps, uh, Bosch Rexroth final drives and wheel motors. Okay.